anthropologist and a feminist psychologist? Well, how I would define feminism is it, was it Rebecca West that said anyone who doesn't think a woman is a doormat is a feminist? Mm -hmm. So I think, I think it's an attention to gender, to gendered issues, mm -hmm. although you could do that from a non-feminist perspective. It's a recognition that we still live in a very patriarchal, phallocentric society, that um, socially women are very disadvantaged, mm -hmm. psychologically women are often very disadvantaged, women are more likely to be pathologised. So it's a recognition and a, in a sense a taken for grantedness of those sorts of assumptions. Mm -hmm. um, that, that gender has to be a part of the equation if we're looking at experience. Um, and I think you know, increasingly gender and sexuality you can then get into, you know, if you look at the definition of feminism in the journal Feminism and Psychology, mm -hmm. they all sort of about class and race. But mm -hmm. I think sometimes we can sound as if we're being very tokenistic and we'll put all the isms together. Mm -hmm. But I suppose for me it's about the centrality of gender and experience in terms of what is a feminist psychology. Mm -hmm. Taking women's account seriously, so the importance of the woman's voice, so which lends much more towards qualitative research, mm -hmm. being reflexive about our own experience mm -hmm. and, and what we bring to the research in terms of our interpretation of data, the questions that we ask, um, you know, how we see the world. So I suppose that to me, mm -hmm. I mean I could probably say more, but I think in a nutshell that's what a feminist psychology would be. Mm -hmm. But it's also critical, so I suppose that links to your other questions. So it's it's critical of the taken for grantedness in psychology, of existing paradigms. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't define a feminist psychology as having to be uh, qualitative, because I think that we should use the methodologies that are appropriate to the research questions mm -hmm. and we can be quite powerful in using mixed methods or different methods mm -hmm. if, it, if it meets a feminist end. Yeah, you're talking very eloquently about that today. And I think that that's yeah. something that I know other feminist psychologists don't agree with, but I, but I don't feel we should limit ourselves in that way, and I think you can be much more politically effective sometimes by mm -hmm. using quantitative methods. They don't have to be. As long as you don't um, position them as better than or elevate them above qualitative methods, and that's why I would use a critical realist approach epistemologically, mm -hmm. makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of what makes a critical psychologist, I actually used to run a master's in critical psychology in Sydney, but um, I think critical psychs share a lot of the same sorts of assumptions, but there isn't such a focus necessarily on gender. So there are lots of critical psychologists so here at this conference who, yes. don't, who don't take a gender perspective, um, but who would adopt many of the other um, perspectives I've talked about in terms of questioning taken for grantedness and the importance of subjective experience. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose what's common to both is, is from the sort of feminist psychology I would take up is, is recognising that experience is culturally and historically located mm -hmm. and that those who are in power who define what it is to, to be are often men mm -hmm. and they come from a very particular paradigm. So mm -hmm. I suppose that's what a feminist would say, that like critical side might not emphasise the men but Mm. But I think about critical psychology is, um, there, I would say there are critical psychologies, so plural, um, but what they would have in common would be challenging positivism as a mm. dominant paradigm in psychology, mm. in questioning those taken for granted truths about, about how we do psychology, you know, for example, that we need to be neutral observers, that we need to be objective, that we need to look at validity and reliability, that quantitative methods are better mm -hmm. than qual, those sorts of things that we get taught as undergrads, or I certainly got taught. Um, and that to have the voice of the person is to be subjective, is to be biased, I think. Critical psychologists would, would question mm -hmm. that. And a lot of critical psychs are very political uh, in terms of yes. their activities personally and in, in psychology.